as far as I would like to thank uh, Joelle and Joanne for inviting me here today and giving me the opportunity to speak to all the wonderful youths. Um, and of course, I would like to also congrats uh, to all the organizing committee of Youth 09 for putting this wonderful event together. Uh, as this event is being done by youths, people like you and myself, uh, and it's such well organized and such a grand scale, it just shows that the um, youths, people like us, can just make things happen if we really want to. Alright, uh, as I only have 10 minutes, yeah, I think you just reminded me. Oh, uh, 9 minutes now. <laughs> yeah. I, I really, really do not think that I have really enough time to share everything that I've shared for the past, that I've done for the past 10 years. But uh, I would just like to, you know, just talk a little bit about how I started my journey, uh, basically. Uh, so core entrepreneur. Actually, to tell honestly to today, I, I do not really know what you mean by entrepreneurship, but nevertheless is that I have started off doing something that I want, doing something that I believe that uh, interests me, basically. Alright, um, let's... Okay, it's all started basically when I was in Form 3. Do uh, you know, uh, many of us at the Form 3, or probably when you go to secondary school, many of our teachers will ask us, you know, what are your ambitions are. And uh, so this one teacher he came to my class and asked all the students one by one to come in front and talk about uh, what they want to be when they graduate, right? So uh, after 45 people, I'm one of the 45 people in the class, and um, we can sum out oh, 45 people, right? We can summarize there's only 10 jobs that everybody wants to do. Um, I want to be a doctor, I want to be an engineer, I want to be a lawyer, and I want to be um, pilots and accountants and stuff like that. And over time, right, it's this very repetitive kind of uh, jobs. And the, doc and the teacher asks one question after that and says that, Isn't there any creativity in youths? Isn't there any creativity in yourself? And I think I, I took that quite seriously. I mean, many of them would just strike off and say, yeah, you can say whatever you want, but I took that quite seriously. And um, it took me over one year to really think about what I want to do. I didn't even answer the teacher on the spot at the time, but um, over the period of one year, I've asked myself many questions. Um, how to be special, to be someone that's different, someone that's not in the 10 jobs that my fellow peers have mentioned. Um, the only thing is that uh, I've asked myself, I'm not very smart, I'm not a straight-A student, so I don't think so I can be a professor somewhere. Um, you look at me, I'm not 250 pounds, but I do not think I'm a good sportsman. <laughs> 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 um, I do not think I'm a good sportsman for that. Um, of course, uh, I do not really think I have to look as well to be an artist or to be a celebrity or something. So it comes down to a lot of constraints you know, to choosing what I really want. So um, then I thought one thing to myself, and, uh, and this one opportunity came. So I was elected to the prefectural board, I think most of you know. Uh, I was elected to the prefectural board, and I was taking care of health and cleanliness. They call it health and cleanliness prefect board. Uh, don't know why, probably. I dress smarter than the rest of the team, but it gave me one sense when I come to school every day as a, as a head of a group of prefects, and they give me the honor, or they, 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 they look upon, respect me, and look upon the authority that I have and what's not. And it just gave me a sense of a teach feeling in me that I like this. I like to come to work every day uh, to be able to work with a team of people achieving different things. And during prefectural board, everyone do it voluntarily without payment. And that gives you an even more exciting feeling. And I think that, yeah, I think I should, and I should want to continue to be someone that will lead to authority, uh, someone that I can work with a team of people to achieve something together. Of course, you know, uh, students being a bit naive, they can do things free for you previously, but I don't think so, they can do it free now. But uh, I still feel there's still a very strong sense of uh, achievement and a very strong sense of teamwork that we have uh, among even my colleagues and peers that I have in my office now. Alright, um, let's go a little bit further. Um, let me see. Ok, 
Okay, then from then from there on, uh, from four and five, and uh, I didn't go to from six. I went to University of Chicago National, and um, I dropped out of University of Chicago National. But I'm not telling you. I'm not. I'm not saying that everyone that uh, studying now would drop off. But I think is that uh, I dropped off because you know I I I, I just not an engineer kind of people. You know? I, I I cannot really put two wires in a box like that. I think I can't do that. I think so. Uh, I dropped out and I'm able to share the passion that I have since from four with my brothers. Uh, my other brother Kenny is here, which he took the stage last year. Um, basically, is that with this same passion that we have and the same shared vision we have, we want to be different, and that is what we want. I, you see, all all my all my cousins, male cousins, are engineers, and uh, my dad. And my mom, just the same as my uncle, and auntie, sent me to be an engineer as well. But it's not really what I want. And I'm sure many of you all here today um, are not actually studying what you really want. Correct me if I'm wrong. But you must really know what you want, and you must find yourself you want to do it differently. Every little thing in life that you do, that's very, very um, important. So, okay, okay. Cut the crap. Uh, basically, what happened is that uh, we, we started wanting to do something, so we want to look for a company. So we want to do, we want to start off something. Um, and I think the easiest prey, someone that even if I lose his money, he won't really kind of kill me, is our dad. So um, we went to our dad and we shared the whole big idea, something like what Mr. Shu showed my dad, all this picture diagram, and he goes, huh? No, so that's the only reaction I have from him, or we have from him, and uh, finally he parted. 5,000 ringgit to buy us a computer, a 486DX4 kind of computer, you know. Um, and um, basically everything else is uh, history, you know. Uh, today, the company, after 10 years since then, or 12 years since then, uh, today we generate over 50 million ringgit in revenues every year. Uh, we have an employee rate of about 144 employees now around the region. We have 10 operating officers, I mean officers as in officers filled with people, computers, and our company brand name in over 10 different 